Will the Dark Knight's alliance with Two-Face hold, or is theirs a match made in hell? Well, let's hop on into the pages of Detective Comics issue number 992 and find out for ourselves, shall we? Alrighty then, so as we join the comic, we check on in with the Gotham Art Museum. Tonight was supposed to be a major gala event, because if Gotham loves anything more than crime, it's gala events. The Cult of the Cobra had been planning to attack this event, but to the grunt surprise, as soon as they get in there, no one's around. That's because Batman and Two-Face clearly the place out in advance of the attack. The two get to work beating up the army of Cobra cultists, all the while Batman gives us a little insight into their history, how they began after a cult kidnapped a super smart child, his twisted relationship with his brother, how constant fighting between the organization, the superhero community, Checkmate, Amanda Waller, and the Suicide Squad pretty much left the group completely and utterly mangled. However, even after losing their leader to the hands of Black Adam, the Cult of the Cobra would not back down. In fact, they only became more dangerous like a cornered Cobra. It was in their desperation they turned to the terrorist master planner to give them the ultimate scheme that would allow them to win back their self-respect and hopefully get more members in their ranks. Of course, even in the cult's fractured minds, they could never have considered Two-Face briefly turning over to the good side to help Batman out. And why, yes, Harvey is fighting right next to Batman with guns, but don't worry, he's only shooting to injure, not to kill. Commissioner Gordon and the GCPD show up to arrest the straggling cultists, and we discover here that this is only the beginning. The museum attack was supposed to be one of several attacks all pulled off on the same night. And I mean, Batman and Two-Face can only be in two places at once, right? If only Batman had an extended team of family members that he could look to to help fight the cultists. Oh no, wait, he totally does. So be sure to keep an eye open for some cameos from Katana and Black Lightning, Signal, Batwoman, Batgirl. They got all the warriors. So the day is saved, right, and the cult is defeated? No, this was actually only part of a much bigger smokescreen operation. You see, the real goal was to distract everyone long enough so the cultists could quite literally go underground and release a dangerous, mind-altering poison into the water supply. By God, they're gonna dump a bunch of Red Bull into the reservoir. Oh, don't at me, it tastes like cough syrup and cream soda. And I mean, that's before you even add the alcohol to it. So that's Detective Comics number 992, everybody, and overall, it was kind of uneventful, ultimately. There was definitely some parts there in the middle where I could have sworn they were stalling for time as Batman pretty much stops to tell us the entire origin of the Cult of the Cobra, not that anything in their origin actually matters for what's happening in this issue. I don't know if Robinson is just a big fan of these guys and wants to try and put them over and show to readers how they could be a threat, but that's kind of undercut by the fact that even though you take into account their big, long, layered history, at the end of the day, they're still on their last leg currently in this story. And it's going to be really hard for me and I know others to see them as anything more than just a bunch of scaly mooks. Although the designs are pretty solid, I will give the artist credit for that. Ultimately, I give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Hey there everyone, it's Cape Jewel again, and I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out some of these other videos available from my channel? Then you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Cape Jewel, so you're always up to speed on what I'm doing next. And hey, if you're feeling in a supportive mood, why not check out my Patreon page? Patrons get exclusive access to videos and content before anyone else, and you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And, uh, oh, yeah, the, uh, the jacket, uh... It was a gift, actually. Someone bought it for me off my Amazon wish list, which I also have, and you can also find linked down in the description. Didn't, didn't think anyone would actually buy me a Slytherin jacket. Put it mostly on there for a laugh. But hey, it's the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, so I figured uh, might as well wear it, show it off, and, you know, thank the person who bought it for me. So, until we meet again, everyone, Buh bye bye